So welcome to Photoshop. We're going to start by looking at the Photoshop workspace. So I have Photoshop opened. Um, here I am here. Um, and when I'm in this first screen, I can either create a new document or I can open a document that I already have in my on my computer here. So let's say I had an image that I wanted to experiment with or play with. Um, I would go ahead and hit open, right? And then it would bring me to the finder screen where I would then find and open up the photograph that I'd want to play with in Photoshop there. I'm actually going to create new because I want to talk you through this as well. When we're working in graphic design, we always want to use high resolution, large images. So I'm going to choose print. I want an image that I'm going to, I'm going to eventually print at the end here. Um, I'm going to choose letter and then over here under orientation, I can choose portrait or landscape. And then I'm going to hit create. So going to be a blank document to work with. Okay, the first thing that I want to, let me go back and um, kind of reset all my essentials, reset my workspace. So when you first open up Photoshop, your workspace will look like this. So I just want to explain what we're looking at here. Um, file, edit, image, layer, type, select. This is my menu. So if I wanted to create a new document, I would go to file. If I'm making adjustments to my image, that will be under here. These things will refer to layers as we get going. Filters, these are fun effects that I could put on the page and so on. So if I, if I refer to the menu, I'm talking about this area up here. The next section that I want to point out to you is called the options bar or the control panel, right? Um, this will refers to the different types of tools. If I choose different tools over here, those different options up there are going to change depending on what tool I have selected. So if I make a change somewhere in here, that'll be where it, um, That'll, that'll be what I'm talking about, the options or the control bar. If you go to the window menu um, and, and say something went away, let's say the, the, that my tools that are here, my tools went away, how do I find my tools? Well, if I went into the window menu, I can go back and take my tools back out. Or if this, this option bar, this option bar disappears, I can go back and make sure I click that so that comes back out, as, as well as any other panel on my right-hand side here. So menu option bar tools, right? This would be the listing. If I had multiple images open, there'd be tabs for multiple images here. And then on my right hand side, I have what's called panels. Now panels can be collapsed in different ways, depending on how you want to view it on your screen here. Um, I can minimize panels in this way. I can minimize it even more like this. I can take panels. I can open panels up, right? I can expand them. I can close them. I can take panels and I can stack them. I could put them in different groupings. If you notice, I've got like a whole group of, of ones here. So if I open it, then I've got different ones in there that I'm going to be using. So if there's panels that you're not going to use, and as we get more familiar with Photoshop, there's things that you can close. Like I, I'm not going to be using those panels right away, so I don't need them there. What I don't want is for you to have, you know, half of your screen taken up by panels here, especially this learn one is a, is a big one. So collapse things, use these, oh, there, 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 there it is as big as it could go. This is actually a great panel to go through and, and teach you some fundamental skills. You can take a tour of Photoshop here. You can work with multiple layers. There's a lot, and you can do this in the, the beginning screen. When you're opening a new document, you have that option to go to, to learn stuff as well. But definitely take some time, close these things, stack these things. I'm grabbing it and stacking it, and then minimize it over to the side. For example, at the beginning of the class here, we're going to be focusing on the navigator panel. Let me find my navigator. It will be in alphabetical order. There it is. Yikes, I can't believe that took me so long my navigator panel. And I'm also going to be looking at the history panel. So those two things we're going to be using as we start to go through Photoshop, because it'll give you an opportunity to go back, undo things and zoom in and out of your workspace. And we're going to do that with a photograph in just a second. So that, it, you know, in, in the, in the simplest form, that is the Photoshop workspace.